what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Gamer Duo here. Welcoming you back to another episode of Saga Lock. I got to look at the camera and not my face. That that would make a difference. Um, so, the reason why I'm laughing a little bit is I totally laughed at Jonas the other day for recording. I was like, oh my god, you recorded it at like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, we're playing Diamond. It'll expose when I'm recording. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So... That happened, and, <laughs> like, it was one of those, I totally thought I wouldn't ever record at 10 o'clock at night again, because I was like, oh, I got a solid schedule, we're fine, everything's like, totally fine, we're good, we're good to go. Yeah, I know, I did school and college, and did a lot of other things today, and now it's 10 o'clock, and I have two episodes to record. Got it. Um, this is gonna be a really different video than normal, because, you know, different videos are, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're for. Anyway, we got to rot with the Drizzle, Brave Bird, Air Cutter, Chatter, Gunshot, Roserade with Spore, Need Alarm, Leaf Storm, and a Gunshot. I totally forgot to change her name to Elena. It's Elena, by the way. Um, we got Bill with Fierce Swipes, Yawn, Copycat, and Smelling Salts. Rondo, Superpower, Sludge Bomb, Triple Kick, and Belly Drum. Curious with Energy Ball, Leaf Blade, Absorb, and Rock Throw. That is the team. I like our team. I actually love our team. I kind of wish that Curious was a character. But it's fine. Curious will become a character in one day. Um, also, I changed my button layout. Uh, wow, I'm saying uh, a lot. Okay, so <laughs> the reason why I commented on that is Jonas and I were actually laughing about the fact that I say uh, a lot. And it's not something I try to do, but it just happens. It's like it's an interjection in between something that I'm trying to say and figure out. And instead of being like, let me think about what I'm going to say, I need to fill the gap in commentary. So, how do you fill the gap in commentary? By saying, uh. And it's just like, really? That's a great way to be annoying, is just to say, uh. But, I'm not the only one that does it. I just do it to a high severity. So, I'm scared of this fight. Which is why I'm delaying it. But I should probably just run in and deal with it. Because I know it's a Wismer uh, as the second Mon. So, because I know it's a Wismer as the second Mon, shouldn't matter. And we'll be fine. The other thing is, is we don't have any Pokeballs for anything else. So, in the game, we can't do anything. But, I actually had a topic for today's video. And, surprise, Jonas is a juggler. That's like the absolute not trainer class for Jonas. I don't feel like, I don't think Jonas could juggle to save his life. <laughs> like, if Jonas had to juggle four balls, I don't think he would be able to do it. Oh no. We'll find out. One day. <laughs> Over on Critical Hector because it's not gonna happen on my channel. Uh, so. <laughs> this battle was way easier than I anticipated, which, I mean, I guess we'll take because, like, we might as well. If, if we got an easy battle, I can't say no to it. So, we got to buy Pokeballs because we have none. And I got to figure out how in the world I am going to actually situate... Sorry, I saw that I was going into the red and pink game. So, I fixed it. Yay. I'm being louder today. Because it's Friday and I can be. But, <laughs> I like how it's specifically because it's Friday. Even though... It's not actually Friday when I'm recording this at all. It's actually Thursday. But, you know, I didn't have to comment on the fact that I was wrong. But I love you guys enough to tell you that I was wrong and stupid. Speaking of, so, stuff that's stupid. Traditional school. Sometimes, okay, so I, I'm in my hardest quarter of the year, right? So, this quarter is stupid for a lot of reasons. But, it's, I've got three window, or not window server, I got three classes that are servers, and I would have thought that, you know, it would have been okay, everything would have been fine, easy, and, like, totally okay. Well, one thing I never understood in traditional school is this whole concept of, oh, you did it more efficiently but not the way I asked. So therefore, your grade is lower. Because, okay, so the context, because I'm terrible at giving context. One of my assignments, I got a 
C on, right? And of course, it's like, oh my god, John, it's a freaking C. It's fine. I got to see on my test, and I'm not happy about it. But still. Um, <laughs> again, I'm being a perfectionist. I have an, an overall grade of B in the class. It's literally an 89.67. It's fine. It's a 3.5. It's okay. But it's me. <laughs> and I'm a perfectionist, and everything has to be perfect. So... <laughs> Anyways, the reason I'm bringing this up is because one of our assignments, we had to delete a table and get rid of a table. So there's two functions in SQL that you can do that with. One is the delete command, which deletes the table, but you have to go through the security protocols to delete the table. The other one is the truncate command. And when you truncate something, you're just, just completely destroying it, bypassing everything. So it's more efficient, but dangerous. Which, okay, makes, like, when you, it's like, when you say, when I say it like that, I'm sure you're like, but duh, if you're bypassing security protocols, that makes sense to why you gotta see. And I'm like, but it's more efficient if you don't need to save anything. Like, I know, but still. So, in SQL, you have to set it up all completely differently. So, I'm like, not even, I'm not telling you how to bypass security protocols because that would be bad if I was like, oh, this is how you bypass all these security protocols. Don't worry, it's okay. But that's basically what it does. And it takes a data table link and it completely destroys it with no worries whatsoever. Why can't you just learn Earthquake? Like, if this was Gen 3, I would have totally taught that. But yeah, so, anyways, I got a D, uh, or I got a C, uh, not a D. Uh, that, if I would have gotten a D, I would be like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I must die for all my sins of getting a D. Like, that's literally, if I get a D on an assignment, that's literally how I feel. It's like, I must I must go die in a hole now for like 24 hours. I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> like, I hate that I'm like it. I hate that I'm like, like that, but I totally am. So, it's just a thing at this point. Also... With that being a thing, it's just like, it is what it is. <laughs> At this point, like, you can't control what your brain does and how your brain reacts. So, I don't need to fix a problem if there's any problem. No, it's like the point of a problem is to fix it, but I don't care. I'm being a perfectionist and just being motivated, but overly motivated is bad. And so I work myself to like crazy standards because if I work myself to crazy standards and I'll think about the fact that I'm making myself work for crazy standards because if I'm working to crazy standards, then there's no time to think. So dumb. Like, <laughs> like this is my entire thought process. This is me word vomiting with a conversational topic about like my worth e work ethic being too much. <laughs> Cause it's like, like literally, I have a couple friends that I hang out with, uh, in actual, in the flesh, and then people that I talk to online, that some of them are my friends as well, I would classify them as friends, obviously, uh, because they're my friends, Th there's no explanation needed, they're my friends, therefore they can be classified as friends. I this video is going to be whack, but don't worry. It's not as whack as some other things I've seen lately. And <laughs> um, I'm going to, oh wait, I can't skip this encounter. I'm like, oh, I'm going to skip this encounter. Watch, I'm going to get it like in the second blade of grass or something. I'm going to try and skip this encounter because I don't have the Pokeballs to deal with this encounter right now, but I highly doubt I'm going to be able to skip it. So <sighs> backtracking, I got, I got upset because it's like, but if I did it, in a more effective manner and did the goal and the achievement of what I was supposed to do, then why? In what world? What in what does it why do I need to have a lower grade if I did the thing correctly? Right? So again, it's literally just because it's bypassing security protocols, I can pretty much guarantee it. I don't have the answer yet. I asked the question way late at night, slash not really late at night, but out, out of office hours so yeah I just was like why and that's the one thing that's kind of redonkulous about traditional schooling right is that it's like if you don't do it the way that I told you to do it then you don't get a good grade but if I you do it the exact way that I told you to do it 
So you're not learning anything. Then you get an A. But it's like, what if I wanted to go above and beyond and learn something? Also, what if it's in this case where I know this stuff because it's literally something I did in databases that uh, I'm familiar with. I don't know everything. I'm not saying I know everything, but I know more than your average Joe that's in this class. So because I'm using those techniques that we're going to learn later on, you get penalized. What? <laughs> and this, like, and the same cycle goes on because a lot of the assignments that I have are like, do this and do that. And, oh, I'm not even going to be able to catch this. I'm going to run from this. I'm sorry, but I have to. Uh, but it's like, do this, do this. It's literally like, here's a detailed layout of how to do everything. It's like, but, like, I get that it's a walkthrough of how to do it, but if my assignment literally entails me doing everything you tell me to do, what am I learning? Because I'm just following a worksheet. Anyway, come the question of the day. What is your perceived style of learning? My perceived style of learning is actually like physically doing something without instruction <laughs> like playing I, I like to play around with things and learn things that way or being visual like i don't i'm not a visual learner really i'm more of an audio auditory learner is that what it is where like you listen to something and you can retain it from listening to it that yeah auditory because like i don't learn from just touching things and like feeling how things work and like like I don't learn that way particularly I get that this whole like there's been a debate on how it is the, is the learning style is actually a thing and I don't think it is like a big thing but I think it is has something like I feel like we're all hardwired to learn specific ways or there's some ways that we learn better than others but we can't not learn from one of the other four styles we just have a preferred style that we would benefit more from right so <laughs> i know i just kind of defeated the whole point of the question but there's five styles of learning in this thing that i'm talking about it's auditory um kinetic or not kinetic but like i don't know what it's actually called but where you learn by feeling you learn visually by seeing um And there's other ones that I can't remember at the current moment. I know there's five. Um, and if you tell me one I don't know, then I'll probably know exactly what it is because I took communications class because I had to for my degree because my degree required two classes of communication, not just one, because IT people apparently can't talk to other people, which, I mean, it's a stigma and it's something that happens, but, you know, it's fine. I'm definitely not triggered. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, like I said, Mine, I if I if I listen, if you're talking to me and telling me how to do something or what to do, then I'll pick up like a lot of the things. But visually showing it to me is okay, but I just get lost in all the visuals and what's going on and how things are going. Hence the shout casting. Um <laughs> because I get lost in the visuals and what's going on and I don't think about talking and how to do all the stuff that I'm talking about. So, like, what's the point in learning how to talk and figuring out what to talk about if there's no reason to talk because I have the visuals to talk for me? Like, it's such an easy way of conversation that I just don't care about, like, how bad it sounds. But also, a lot of people like shoutcasting, and that's how they want their videos to be. And I'm like, okay, well, if you want my videos to be shoutcasty, why not? Like, there's no reason not to do the shout casty thing once in a while. But Joy and I uh, have debated a lot about this. That's triggering. <laughs> Joy and I have debated a lot about this. And one thing that we both are like, think is good is a mixture between shout casty and not shout casty. Because, like, you get both audiences, and, like, how both audiences 
like the content. So like that dramatic pause of being like, oh my gosh, this thing gets effects more is good because it's like you need that cause or like not consistent that casual break between tough rough nitty gritty conversation that i'm having with you guys right now where it's just like okay so having that tough nitty gritty conversation with y'all making it work while i'm casually instead of moving my camera to match where the game is so i'm looking like this I'm looking like this, and the camera's right there, so the angle's weird. Again, being a perfectionist. <laughs> um, but like, like the problem is, is if I'm if I don't know how to fix it or not what to fix it, I don't worry about it. But if I know what to do and to fix it, I'm like, oh my god, I need to fix it. <laughs> and you have like two sides. You you literally have the angel on one side being like. Oh my god, you should definitely take care of yourself because you're so important and like you matter and you know, you don't ever take care of yourself. And then you have the, the like the evil side, like never take care of yourself, you're never gonna be good enough, and nothing you do is going to be good, and it's okay because you gotta just accept the fact that you're just terrible and it's okay to think that you're terrible because it's so true and blah blah blah. It's like I don't wanna listen to that side, but it's just a side of my body and what happens. So you listen to it because you have no self-esteem. <laughs> this is a hard hitting video. I don't even know where this is coming from today. Like, <coughs> oh God, I have no idea where this is. Like, this is just out of nowhere. And you know what? It just, yep, this is today's video. Happy week, happy Sunday, everybody. The universe doesn't care about anything, and people have no self-esteem, so they listen to the bad, evil part of their brain because they don't have enough confidence within themselves to listen to the self-confidence side that's like, oh my god, you're actually a good person, and people love you, but, you know, and you're, the love of other people should be enough. <laughs> what an episode! <laughs> That's all I've got to say. This is, um, this is, this is one for the ages. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, that trainer's gone, but <laughs> this is one for your, your record books, y'all. Um, we do have trainers, which is kind of oof, but, uh, you know, this is the second episode straight where I've carried over a conversation for more than 10 minutes. That's a awesome. Oh, I could literally go through without fighting any trainers. I don't know how I just realized that now. Kong. You don't have a psychic type. It's okay. It's not something to trigger you at all. It's not meant to be that because it's an easy capture that you won't have to worry about and you can save your Pokeballs. Good job. I'm naming you Nina. I don't know. It just was the first thing that came to mind. Okay, it's, that's all it was. It literally was just, oh, first thing to come to mind, Nina. Okay. <laughs> that's how my names work, right? It's usually, what's the first thing that comes to mind? And if it's a, cre like, uh, not a creator, if it's a supporter of the channel, it's usually like, if they're the first thing they come to mind, it's usually their mascot or somebody that they asked about being, hence Elena, being uh, Rose Raid, because Elena is the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Rose Raid is Elena. So, again, I gotta fix Elena because I'm dumb and don't ever figure out how to do that. Slash, I go and decide this is the series I'm gonna actually physically train for most of it uh, until we get to super high level disparities. And then I'll go fix it. <laughs> Which, with my luck, this will be the series that I lose, like, very little mons. And then it'll be like, well, you didn't lose any mons. So, therefore, there was no level disparity. So, therefore, what the heck? I'll be like, you're right. I should go die in a hole now. <laughs> like, like <laughs> this is such a weird... <laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> Uh, all I'm thinking about is RPN number 12 right now, because 
this up I don't I don't know if I'm trying to compete with how dark RPN 12 is but like RPN 12 will not even have been like or will have been out already right or is RPN 12 going out literally today I don't know just in case I'm not gonna spoil anything because that's Jonas's series who is uh, amazing and that will be linked in the iCard now because um, I feel obligated to because I brought it up <laughs> Go watch, please. Hi, Jonas. Huh, you got here finally. Slow as always. I'm slow. You got here on episode 9. It's okay. Uh, dang. <laughs> like, no, but his his series is completely different. So, again, if I, anytime I'm roasting RPN, it's because it's, I'm roasting it out of love. Because I like RPN. Literally. I'm not joking about that. Like, if I'm, if you see me, like, roasting RPN for what seems to be no reason, just remember, it's out of love, and that Jonas is good creator who needs love and support. Uh, <laughs> don't you give me 1500 for this? Oh, you give me 500 No. Uh-uh. Not over 500 Not worth. No, not worth. So I think I'm going to finish this episode with this encounter up top, because I'm going to forget about it otherwise. Um, and then we're gonna train up freaking Mr. Mime because this, or Mime Jr. because it'll evolve. Do I want to deal with Flathead? No, I don't want to deal with Flathead. <laughs> Oof, but true. Um, I feel like you guys are gonna get so upset that I didn't deal with this, but that pose wanted to try and catch it. Dread Plate. Nice. We got two RCS plays this episode. Definitely doesn't shape up for a, a wild ride at all. Okay, well, maybe I can get more than one thing done in this episode. I want it. That would have been cool. Yeah, like, I can actually go at the other encounter. Yes. Although, there's one dude that gives me a great ball, isn't there? I think it is this dude, actually. From No. Somebody gives me a great ball. I know Jonas got one in RPN somehow. Okay, never mind. There is no great ball. Orberg Gate. Hmm. Wait. Oh, no. Orberg mine, not the gate. We already went to the gate. Come on, game. Give me a good encounter, please. And by good, I mean encounter that I can actually, like, take on and have a good time with. There it is. Okay. It's Joy Love! Yo! We're naming it Joy Loaf. I, we're naming it Joy Loaf. And I'm actually going to want... Oh, wait. My team's full. I can't use it. Oh, okay. So, we're not naming it Joy Loaf. We're naming it Joy Wellington. That won't fit. But I'm going to make it fit. I don't care. It's Joy Loaf. And I want it really badly. We have Joy... Oh, my God. Joy Loaf. What if Joy Loaf has huge power and I just don't know right until and like we catch it? And it's like huge power, Joy Loaf, and I'm gonna be like, so, um, yeah, you're not evolving. Um, okay, give a nickname to it's it's jo actually Joy Wellington might fit. Like, I'm just assuming it's not gonna fit because I, again, I got no self confidence, but <laughs> it it totally does fit. Oh my gosh, John, you're fine. <laughs> It's okay. Don't doubt yourself. Okay, I don't think it actually fits. It doesn't fit. Well, and... Joy will know what I mean. I have to abbreviate it. Wellington. Joy Wellington. Transfer to box one. 
Show me how to rock smash, because I know that's what you care about. Oh, good. There was this trash in here. Cool. We didn't avoid having trash. Oh, good. More trash. Joy well Joy Love or Joy Love slash Joy Wellington. Best encounter in here? Yeah, Joy Joy Wellington totally was the best encounter in here. I'm happy about that. I'm so happy we got Joy Wellington. And what a way to cap off this episode of Saga Walk. Hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Next episode, we are going to be taking on our lovely, lovely person known as Rourke. And we're going to have a Mr. Mime on our team. So that's going to be uh, good. And I love you all. And next episode will hopefully be a lot more cheery because that's this episode is kind of dark. And yeah, hopefully you guys hit that sub button so we can get to 1,130 by the end of today. Which we might already be at 1,130. You know, <laughs> I don't know that. Um, love out. Bye.